wow, that feels so much better. All clean, all emptied out, all rested up, had a nice long rest, ready to get going and start our day. Oh, wow, wait, what, what time is it? Oh, holy moly, I'm late. I gotta get this intro going. Hello, space engineers. Welcome back to another episode of Far From Home. The goal of this episode is to get the turrets on the donut, get them controlled by the defensive block, and go over and attack that space pirate raider. We've been working on doing that for, I don't know, several episodes now, ever since we were devoured, or whatever that was, episode 24 or something. Let's get started. Okay, well, first thing we need to do is not waste that oxygen. So, um, we'll just uh, put you on depressurize. All right, so this stuff in the middle here, I, I want to get rid of this stuff. I need to. I need to redo this space so that it's not irritating and I can get a button panel in here uh, to depressurize and pressurize. Okay, so I would like to show you the new changes I've made to the living quarters. We are using the new blocks and they are very cool. Got my cosmic coffee maker here, my rehydrator, all the essentials. Got a kitchen, medical kit. Ooh, nice. Oh, awesome. I didn't know you could put stuff in here. How about this one? No, it's not. Put stuff in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. Got our bathroom set up, same as before. Be nice if we had some kind of door, but you know, it's just me, so it doesn't really matter. Thought that was pretty neat to put the lighting in like that. And um, yeah, so it's pretty cozy in here. And um, now that we got all this stuff taken care of, it's time to work on those rail guns. So the first thing we need to do with this is make sure we have the right buttons and whatnot set up. I can't remember what I've got, but I know that this should be um, this should be the projector for Railgun Zero, which is one we already have. So yeah, so this should be number one, which is the one we want. Okay, so. Uh, why are these lit? Those aren't. Because they don't have anything assigned to them. Okay, so let's go assign stuff to them. Uh, first, let's deal with the Reaver Thrasher, because... Um, yuck. He is behind me. Okay, so let's turn the ship so we can get a good angle with this decoy launcher. Still need to... Weld up. We gotta get this guy to go away. Go away. Go away. Let's see that rear thrasher take off. Yeah, you gotta watch it. If they get too close to you, they are gonna come after you instead of the decoy. Definitely didn't want that with that guy. All right, so let's turn this on. Oh, you know, if I just left that merch block the same name, I could have used the same button for all of it. Like, does that do it? No. Turn those off. Now, I don't really know what's been, like, why this is 
wrong. <laughs> like, why it doesn't work? Like, why I couldn't get the last one to connect? I don't know. But I'm just guessing that I had the wrong position or something. Oh, is that the bottom? Wow, did I? Yeah, I printed that upside down. Not convenient. So, like, why did, oh, it didn't weld that up because I didn't have the superconductors. So let's turn you off, turn you on, get these guns welded. Takes a minute to make a superconductor, apparently. Alright, let's try and get this uh, railgun attached. Uh, my suspicion is I was just, you know, it's at like a bad angle or whatever, and uh, just basically wasn't very good placement. And that's why it didn't. Uh, Watch on. Wow. Oh, that was uh not ideal and terrifying. The hinge lock, that's kind of a problem. Okay. Well, right, we got that attached. That is really good. I am super, super duper glad that um, the tug wasn't connected to that when that happened. We got any ammo in here? All the jiggliness is not, uh, not make me feel good. That's two, though. Let's, um,. Set up a um, turret controller for that. So we're going to put the tug away, and then we're going to get the turret controller set up. So let's go over to our server room, our computer room, figure out where we're going to put that. Okay, so one of the things that's going on here is that uh, we need to protect this part of the ship a little bit better than we've been doing so far. If we're going to put all these um, important computers and things in here. So I'm going to grind some of this up and put some more, um, put some more blocks in. So, I'm just going to put a ceiling in, basically. That's really all we're going to do here. This is just kind of temporary. It doesn't need to look good or any of that. It just needs to sort of protect things from getting brained to protect my ship from getting brained really easily. Okay, awesome. Now we've got that going on. Where are we going to put that turret control? So, this was going to be kind of a hallway, right? So this is just kind of one big room, really, uh, now, and, um, I don't know, I kind of feel like I shouldn't, I kind of feel like I shouldn't concentrate all my turret controllers in the same place, but I think I'm going to put it right next to the first one.
why can't I build? Why can't I get all the computers? It's like I just need to hold all the computers on me all the time. Oh, I gotta do that. Interesting. I didn't know that. I didn't do that on the other one. Okay, so we now have our second turret controller for our second turret. We also have a roof over this to protect it. And we have our second gun, even though it is missing some bits because the blueprint didn't have them, because they didn't get welded, because I didn't have my extra welder down here, which I need to turn them off so I don't die. Dying is unhelpful. All right. Cool beans. Wow. Okay, well, that works. And it crushes the power. Oh, man. Okay, let's print off railgun turret number three. Awesome. Now I gotta set those buttons up and to uh, turn off the projector and detach the gun. And um, we're gonna get the tug and install it. So I'll be back. Yeah, I think that was the problem before, is that I was too um, rotated down too much. Let's see if we can get this to lock on. Nice. In the railgun control module, do I put it right next to the first one? Do I put it right here? Maybe. It's really, it's kind of like right next to the battery room. Which I was going to make a separate room. But, I mean, maybe I should be uh, moving these batteries elsewhere. I don't know. This is all going to go away. This is going to be like a whole other section of the ship, like starting like basically there. Yeah, we just need to get it done. We're just going to put it here and kind of deal with the ship layout a little bit later. And of course, we uh, have to deal with some more Reavers. It'd be best if they left. So small grid but it just I'd like to get this stuff done very 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 cool that's what that is very very cool thank you mr. Wellington <laughs> it's 
so we'll see if these things get in each other's way. They're kind of long. Hmm, a little nervous about that. I might end up having to take the middle one out. Yeah, I might end up having to take the middle one out. Okay, so I gotta work on this a little bit, and I gotta put some rail guns down here somewhere, and I'm gonna have to try and be a little smarter about what I do. Um, so we gotta measure some things, uh, because I got some plans for this part of the ship here. So let's do some measurement. So I need some steel, which I have. Okay. So what I need to measure down here is that I intend to put a grinding apparatus here. So let's let's just see what we got. If that's basically the floor, and then we got some room for stuff, and then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. So that gives me 11. Twelve, thirteen. So if I have a good solid 13 blocks in there. The back of the ship doesn't really need to be lower than that. Is that what we want to do? What do we want it to come back up? I don't. I don't think so. Well, maybe it could come back up a little bit, and then we have some more guns down here on the bottom. Uh, I could also put guns up in here, perhaps. Instead of this, I could put a gun in here. Hmm. So what we're going to do here, I need to put some more guns on the donut on the bottom, like railgun turrets. Um, I thought I was going to put some back here, and I probably still will, but it would have been better if they weren't so close together, so I'm a little nervous about what I'm doing there, because these, these are too close together probably, right? this business these are too close together so I need to put the tug away to be safe some unpleasant things happen Okay, so I'm going to put some more guns in. I'm going to put a railgun turret down here. Um, I thought I was going to put a welder on it, but you know, maybe I don't need to. Um, well, the only thing the welder is really good for here, in my opinion, is um, keeping the rotor and the hinge welded up. So I think I will put one here. Let's get this welder in here that in here. We need to get a, a rotor in here. Or do we want to stick it down one more? I think we kind of want to leave it right there, actually. Yeah, I think this is where we want to leave it. Let's do it. And then all this has to change, of course.
Okay, so I'm gonna put some um, extra armor around this thruster to uh, make it look prettier and uh, just sort of finish this part because I'm, uh, I'm super psyched about getting stuff done. I'm having a good time, so I'm gonna do some more. So I laid out these blocks to armor the thruster and we're gonna weld them up. That's kind of cool. That's working. Warning. Enemy detected. I think the thruster got me. Oh my gosh. I guess it's dangerous to weld in here. God, it's just a big chunk of steel. Okay, so we need to get another railgun printed and put over here. Okay, boys and girls, it's time for us to get our first railgun turret on the bottom of the donut. I am very excited. This is our fourth turret on the ship. I have learned that you need to come in with turret somewhere within the natural range of the hinge parts movement. And while it is important that you try and line the hinge part up, what's more important than lining up the hinge part is getting it within the range of motion. So let's see if this will attach. It feels like that's pretty decent. Yeah. Oh, man. Now, this is one of the things I was kind of concerned about. Is this clip here? You know, when the rail, when it, when it rotates, is that going to clip? I don't know. Man, that is so cool. All right. Let's get the... Uh... That is really cool. I like that. Yeah. I am excited to put a few more of those on the ship. CD. CTC. Yeah, yeah, you guys. I'm going to put you guys in a group. So you guys are going to allow me to um, change what they're targeting. I'm going to go over here. And we're going to say that the ninth one is going to be our um, railgun groups. So railgun groups. And we're going to say... Um, we're going to say target weapons. Target propulsion. Target power systems. Target communications. Target production. And we're going to turn these on or off. They're always going to target guns. Wow, I have never seen this. So you could launch missiles like um, direct fire missiles. One of the things I wanted to do is put some hydrogen engines in here somewhere to give us some extra power when. Uh, we're in combat. I'm not really sure where I'm going to put those engines, but I think this is a neat part of the ship right here. And it's like, if it wasn't a closed, if the magnet wasn't a closed system, I'd put them down a little lower. But um, I think I'm going to put them right in here. And I think I think it would be cool to have some hydrogen engines coming like right off of here and basically make them part of the floor, I guess.
So the whole point of these engines is to provide more power when the rail guns are turned on and make sure we don't run out of power. And uh, so we need to put them all in a group and then we're going to go over to the um, timer block that runs when the AI defensive block triggers and we're going to have it turn the engines on. The engines will turn on when the enemies are in range when they get detected. And what is it when the AI defensive block turns off? It is enemies detected. Stop. Okay. Fair enough. Set the action. Enemies detected. Stop, not off. Oh, oh, it's just all it does is stop that timer. So I need another timer block. Make sure enemies detected is off. And let's see here. We need to make sure that the hydrogen engines are off. Okay, so check this out, guys. I have added four hydrogen engines in here. These engines turn on when enemies are detected by the AI defensive block. And the reason I've done this is to make sure that we have enough power, even if our batteries are running out of of energy. I want to make sure there's however much these guys do. 15? So that's what? 60? Max output is 5. Okay, so that's like uh, each one of these recharges one and a half of those little rail guns. So, ugh. I think this thing just looks really cool. So we got to work on this back part. Oh, nice Reaver Thrasher. That is exactly what I don't want. I should be able to make this one go away. Man, that antenna makes a big difference as to whether or not you get detected. <sighs> oh, man. Nice. All right, so we have got to put a railgun down here. I changed my mind. I'm not going to try and put two in because I think it's just they take up a bit of space. And what I'm thinking with this is that it's going to stick out at least one more block. At least one more block. I gotta have this ridge line going down the bottom. Oh yeah, we gotta decide what we're doing with this. In order to know how to tie in that uh, new turret with the ridge line, I need to know what the rest of these shapes are gonna be looking like. I often have to bounce around in order to uh, design something. These blocks have just been amazing for me. <laughs> I use this new shape set a lot. Maybe that has to go. Reavers has snuck up on me yet. This is all going to change because I don't like it. Oh yeah, let's change our costume. costume yeah I guess that's what it is let's see here we got a veteran suit so let's let's use that
All right, so this is the bottom of the donut right now. And as you can see, I have this ridiculous uh, welder array thing going on here. And we're going to start turning these welders on and putting some armor blocks in. So once they are all on, I will come back and I will start uh, laying down some blocks. Oh, that one's hooked up. Okay. So those aren't hooked up, okay. So that one is not hooked up. It's because the block underneath it is not built, oh god. Is that right? There's something wrong down there. Yeah, that's why. That's where it is, right there. Yeah, what is this? Inventory full. Wrong, that's what that is. Very wrong. I'm thinking I'm gonna pull this back just like I did on the front and sort of wrap the gun a little bit. I think that'll be fun. Forgot I gotta put these in here. All right, folks, I have been um, working on the bottom of the ship here for a little while. I've got a bunch of welders in there. All the welders are on, all the blocks are laid out. The only thing we are missing is this one block in here, this one conveyor block. So I'm gonna weld that up and we're gonna see what happens. Wow, well, that's pretty nice. Okay. Now I need a bunch of steel. I'm gonna weld up the rest of this by hand, which includes um, filling some of this in. And uh, that'll come back. Okay, so we are now in a position where we are ready to put our last two... God, it's so thick. It's This is the defensive block, this gray area. This is all defensive, all of this stuff. It's just... <sighs> Anyways, so we're ready to put two railguns down here. One there and one there. We have uh, already added one up here. And we added a little bit of uh, decorative armor to this. I think, I feel like we need to do something else to it. So it's like if I do this, right, if I put this stuff in here, it 
it's cool, right? But then it doesn't look so great on the outside. So I don't think I'm ready to do anything like that. We're gonna do something else with this. This is not. This is not the final. Um, this is not the final frontier here. This is it. But it's interesting. So the next step is going to be to put two more railgun turrets on. So, <clears throat> you see I have these little blocks here that I've added right here. One of the things that I'm doing here is I really, you know, I don't like this profile. I don't like that it just, just drops in with that huge scoop. And so I'd like to pull it out. I'd like to bring it out at an angle. I don't know exactly, that's starting to look good, I don't know exactly what I'm doing with it, but this is kind of how I figure stuff out. You have to change the slope, I think, to make it, to make it interesting. And I almost, I feel like I need to keep moving it up is what I feel like. It's all wrong there. I need to keep moving that up. Yeah, that's more like what I was originally thinking. Oh. Reaper Invader, that's not what we want. It's below us and behind us, so we gotta roll. But gosh, I gotta roll, I rolled the wrong way, so let's keep rolling. Oh, I didn't weld one up, well, let's see what happens here. pretty close, so I don't want it to get closer. So I'm going to shoot it sort of behind it. See how that goes. It's really close. Is it going to come over here? I guess not. I guess it's not coming over here. Wow. Okay. Good deal. What were we doing? Looking at this and going, yeah, I don't like that. That's what we were doing. That's not that bad. I kind of, I'm kind of partial to that. It's not what I originally envisioned. Huh. I'm gonna weld both of these things up just to see if they kind of grow on me. I can't believe I've actually started to chew through some of that. That's nuts. Oh, I gotta get the steel. So these spikes, I don't know what I'm doing with this. Um, I thought I'd just uh, throw something on here and see what it looked like. 
Not sure what I think about that. Now. Just gonna weld some of this up while I'm here. Why not? Okay, so we just have to put these railgun turrets on the bottom. And uh, we're gonna be ready to go. So, what do we need to do? We need to print one of these. Where are these coming from? Just kind of stuck on the ship. So, I believe I have the most recent one turned on, yeah. Oh, I might need some more superconductors at this point. No, 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 let's see. We got any superconductors? Ooh, we have 50. That should be enough superconductors. Well, we're definitely not going to be making a jump drive right now. Gotta get a battery. Put a little battery on the side. Okay, so let's grab this with a tug. Which looks like a carnival clown now. Dampers off. Okay, so we gotta rename this guy. This really isn't that hard. I mean, it's just kind of a little irritating, but now that I kinda know what I'm doing, it's not that bad. It's cool that the railguns are built with one slug loaded. That's pretty neat. Okay, so this is ready. Oh, what are you doing? Don't do that. Why did I do that? Get the sucker attached. See, that's a little terrifying. Oh man, man, that's that's. Oh gosh. Well, at least it's been a while since that happened. I mean, that you know, I had a good run. <laughs> Okay, hey, let's put the tug away. In case a baddie comes uh, to get us while we are messing around with the next turret. Do we need to put it all the way away or can we just like... Just like do this. Cool. Enemy 
Yeah, they're all on now, so I gotta go turn them off. So we don't spawn big nasties. Oh, are those um, hydrogen engines on? Yeah, I think they're on. Yeah, let's turn them off. Right, because that thing left, it's out of range. So the AI combat, blah, 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 setup actions. On the off, it's enemies detected stop. Okay, so that needs to change because it needs to be, yeah, it needs to be that. That's what it is. Okay. So let's go back to the batteries. Uh, engines? Are they still on? No. Okay. Railgun 5. This is our sixth gun. And we're going to have all the um, buttons and projectors and everything set up to make new copies of them if need be. Oh, I wonder if I ran out of metal grids. Yeah, what are we doing? We're doing, doing great on nickel. Great. Used up some of that uranium building railgun rounds. Yes, we have some railgun rounds, but for every hundred of those, it's seven of those. So, I gotta be careful. That's... Well, that's where all the, that went into railguns. So it was railguns or jump drives, and we went with railguns first. So that's what we got. some stuff up there. Oh my gosh. What are you do? How are you doing? Basically, you're fine. How are you doing? You got a little messed up. Okay, well, the tug's got his projection on, so I guess all I need to do is Oh, I lost my forward thrust. No, I got my forward thrust. Yes, yeah, so I got... I got everything. Okay. I accidentally turned off my inertial dampeners. I was all confused for a second and... dashed into that. Once we move this, once we put this gun in, we're gonna come back over here and use these welders to fix the tug. Okay, so now all we have to do is rename all the parts and pieces here and go set up a turret controller and we're going to be ready to go. this is a little I don't know nicer what kind of options do we have do we have any half block lights
Oh, I think that looks really good. Let's uh, let's do another one. See if that see how that looks. Yeah, I really like how that looks. That is awesome. Wunderbar. Okay. Let's get the tug and fix the tug. We have three rail guns and three Gatling turrets on the bottom. We have three rail guns and four Gatling turrets on top. One of these rail guns should probably be moved somewhere else. But I'm not sure we're ready to do that yet. Let's get the tug, put the tug. Let's send the reavers away. Let's get the tug and put the tug away. We still have a little bit of time before movement is a problem. They're 6.13 kilometers out, so let's get ourselves connected up here just to try and some protection in case things go really badly because sometimes they do all right now we gotta get these guys to leave we have got to get them to go away where are they okay we gotta rotate so we're gonna rotate to the left oh my gosh last thing I want to deal with is an attack at the moment. We're just on the cusp. We're really ready basically to go after the Space Pirate Raider and I'm just putzing around. A little nervous that that was not far enough off their course. At least they're both small grid. Oh wow, they're shooting at it. It looks like they have shot it quite a bit, actually. Oh my, are they, they're shooting a lot. Wonder if it got away. It looked like it got shot a bit. Oh, are they done with it? Um, they kind of look like they're coming back this way now. That was not good. So they're like, yeah, give us another one. Yeah, they're back on patrol now. Great. So they got the decoy. Okay, so don't let them get the decoys. This is, uh, let's see what happens. I'm a little nervous they're going to come and get me because they're going to get close when they try and go after that. That's what I'm nervous about. Oh, it's not notifying us that it's going after it, but it's going after it. And they are far enough away that they are not coming for us. So they are going to go over there and um, they are going to mess up the Space Pirate Raider. I got I to gotta save this and get my composure. Okay, so I've had a chance to think, which is, you know, nice. You get to save the game. You have a chance to think, uh, because I was not thinking a lot. And um, since I would like to salvage the <laughs> Space Pirate Raider, I'm going to have to chase after the Reavers now to make sure that they don't kill it too much because there's two of them. So if I want to salvage any of that, I have to run over there. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to run over there. And... <laughs> and we're going to save what happens for, uh, for the next episode. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Far From Home. Next time, we're going to be in some combat with the Space Pirate Raider and these Reavers. It's going to be a big mess. So I hope to see you there, and I hope you enjoy it.